Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Soleil Rising and if you're interested in watching horoscope predictions and some astrology video related content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like it and share it with your friends. Hello dear Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is your August horoscope prediction. Please, please, please make sure to check not only your sun sign but your rising and moon sign because most of the time the sun uh, the sun sign prediction like monthly prediction will make like 50 percent resonation so it is better to check the rising sign because rising sign gives you more accurate monthly or whatever predictions okay so go ahead and check your rising sign and then uh, you can continue for like if you're checking your sun sign it's going to give you more information so the month starts with mercury being in your 10th house from july actually so it is going to be there until 4th of august that means until 4th of august you will be dealing with some kind of uh, official documents related to your new work or official documents related to your spouse to your status change to getting that paper confirming that you are your status has changed from let's say uh i don't know from student to a professional now you're getting that probably diploma preparing that uh, paper you are probably getting that passport or whatever document supporting and confirming that you are now a citizen of a new country uh and etc from 4th of august mercury is going to go to your 11th house of friends um, dreams coming true plans and basically an amazing house because it's everything that you want in in your life so mercury being there means that you will be meeting a lot with your friends you will be communicating a lot with your friends or your teammates from a project that you are working on together uh, also it means that you are uh, preparing a business plan uh, preparing documents or planning on uh, your dream plan your dream project your business probably from 26th of august mercury is gonna go to your 12th house and there mercury is going to work on your self-development or going to it's going to prepare documents for your immigration and moving to another country or traveling to another country Another thing we're going to have is Venus is in your ninth house um, until 12th of August in your ninth house of studying abroad, uh, graduating, getting a degree, learning a new language, working for a foreign company or working with a company that deals with foreigners or <laughs> suing someone, um, getting the justice. Uh, also, it can mean that you are meeting someone abroad so let's go when venus is in a ninth house it's usually something positive you are getting that paper you're getting that degree you're getting that job related to foreigners or uh, a job that is abroad but it is definitely a job that you enjoy doing and also it can mean that if you're traveling abroad you're either traveling with your partner or you are meeting for those for for single scorpios it means that you're meeting someone abroad that could potentially be your love partner or just when you are abroad or another country you really have you're really having a good time in there and from 12th of august venice is going to go to your 10th house of status um and career so when venus goes to 10th house it usually means that you are going to definitely enjoy that promotion or this new job that you have and you will be not just working you will be having so much fun so much pleasure working for this company or for i don't know getting that promotion you are definitely going to love it and the money that you will get definitely will be something that you will be satisfied and happy with it can also mean that for some of you you're getting married or your uh, relationship with your loved one is getting committed and growing to the next level changing your status i don't know from single to having a partner having a boyfriend from just dating to officially having boyfriend or, or, or girlfriend 
or from being a boyfriend girlfriend to marry um, and etc but it is something really really positive and another cool is a cool thing is that this venus is going to have a trine with jupiter which is in your uh, sixth house from 13th of august until 26th of august so this trine uh, is this aspect is actually one of the best things that can happen uh, um, in the sky venus trining jupiter it's usually blessings it's usually benefits it's usually gifts so for you being in 10th and 6th house it means some kind of big gain some kind of huge promotion when it comes to work or some kind of um uh maybe your new job where you go in you're gonna have this new co-workers that are going to be so beneficial for your life or with whom you will bond so much that you will have long relationships or maybe you will win something from your work definitely like some kind of promotion that you didn't ask for you did not expect and you're having it and you're like whoa i really wanted it but not this much it is a lot but it is amazing um okay um the next thing we're going to have is that mars is in your seventh house of partnerships alongside with uranus and north node so you are you have been having a lot of like um sudden changes when it comes to your love uh both business and love partnerships and clients for those who work with clients so it means that when mars is in your seventh house you're actively working with your partner or you're actively uh kind of dating or having lots of i don't know activities with your love partner or or your business partner at the same time for those who work with clients means that during this period you are dealing with a lot of clients you're working with a lot of clients you are having a lot of consultations and spending time with other people and um, the good thing is that this mars and this aspect in your seventh house of partnership is going to have really good uh, influence on your career on your 10th house and your third house of communication networking and traveling short distance yes thanks so it it looks like you will be traveling you will be traveling not like abroad but you will be traveling a lot either with your business partner or your love partner until 20th of august you'll be meeting and going somewhere together uh, it can also mean that uh, your new job your career or your yeah your status your career your new promotion will be giving you a lot of opportunities to have business trips so that you kind of either give a consultations or you work one-on-one -on -one with either clients or with people basically related to your job uh, when mars moves to your eighth house from 21st of august it means that you will be dealing with other people's money you will be applying for a loan getting a loan or um working towards like preparing some kind of financial documents um also it can for some for some people it can mean surgeries yes because mars is like sharp it's uh knives and eighth house is surgery so some of you might be having surgeries i mean it's probably planned so for those who have you will be probably having surgeries after 21st okay uh, we're going to have a full moon in aquarius in your fourth house on 12th of august so on 12th of august you will probably receive a closure results or some kind of uh, re um, news related to your house uh, or your family and parents especially your mom or mother figure or female person from your family it's usually also cutting ties with some people let's say maybe you're cutting ties with some family member that no longer serves you and you don't want to deal with them anymore it can also mean that you will be receiving some kind of news from your family <coughs> oh my god <coughs> sorry yeah so results um related to your new place maybe uh, you will be having some kind of information some kind of notice related to your apartment to the place where you live at like the place that you currently live in 
the place where you feel comfortable, your house, there will be some kind of results uh, or good news, plus news from your family, as I have already uh, said. And we're having a new moon on 27th of August in your 11th house of Virgo. So 11th house is literally like friends, competitions, conferences, and your dreams coming true, plus your business, your project. So it looks like your new theme for uh, September is going to be related to your friend or friends and some kind of project that you do with them or you are working on some kind of project. So it's going to be your theme for from 27th of August for uh, like until September. Another thing that we need to talk about is that there will be some kind of tension between uh, maybe your career choice and your family. Maybe your family will be kind of disagreeing with what you do, especially with your status. Maybe <laughs> for some people, your, your parents will be like, you should get married. Uh, like they want to control your status of like becoming married and having a wife or a husband and you'll be like hell no I don't want that but they, there there's going to be some kind of tension because they want to kind of control that plus it's also having a tension with your partner maybe your partners will not be accepting of oh no maybe your parents will not be accepting of your partner which is kind of definitely influ influencing your status um, or it can also mean that the place where you live at is giving some kind of uh, inconvenience or some kind of tension when it comes to your work and your clients so it can really depend on each person but overall the month is amazing please make sure to complete everything important that you have uh, for your august until 24th of august and i really hope to see you soon so please 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 make sure to subscribe it's really going to support me and empower me to make more videos because i am going to make more videos and i really hope to see you soon have an amazing august bye